All right, guys, let's go into this. Let's go back to the next part. Get that out of the way and launch our hyper. What's up, Paul? Damn. Nice of you to be here. Um, actually, you missed the guys. The guys were on the first uh, section. Although they got, still got a few people here connected. I can see. Maybe the guys are still here. So, yeah. Uh, nice of you to drop by, Paul. I'm glad to have you here, just like the rest of the guys. Now... I'm going to continue from where I left off, Loading. which was Dawn Loading of Sorrow. Complete. Let's see if uh, we get the save. Switch screens here. What are you doing? There we go. I'm gonna have to travel. Damn. And I already had. Oh man, I have to clear all of that crap again. Shit. Not good. See if I can try and make it. Okay, so now I got a bat. I still got the flying armor at least. Oh man, but I lost my other stuff. That was stupid on my part for not saving or at least drinking a potion. Now that I remember I had a potion available to me, I could have used that and I didn't. That was really stupid on my part. But, gonna have to do the whole going to the store and talking to this lady and all that stuff. So I'm gonna try and get through this as fast as possible. Get into the meat and potatoes, cause that was that was something that was very stupid on my part. Yeah, let's do. No, there's no way I'm gonna short sword into a sword. Yeah, if I don't have anything else, I guess I could do that. But I can also buy something. Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep what I got for now. Cause I need to speak with Hammer first. Now the thing is that I was playing, I was playing in the first part of the stream cause I just came back from a break. And in the first part of the stream, I had already past all of this, even did the, the the first boss and all that stuff, and I explored quite a bit, and now I have to do all that again. Let me get the map. Actually, no, I'm not going to buy it. Rapier. Short sword, play more I already have, spear, I'm not gonna spend that money in the spear.
go for... Should I go for leather armor or gym clothes? Let's go with leather armor. I still have the mace. Nope, I don't have the mace because since I played it differently, I'm screwed and I didn't buy any potions. Potions, I got in stock. Mind up. I can use mind up. No, I don't have any money. So, that means I'm screwed. That's okay. Let's get out of here. So, Paul, I hope uh, everything's going well on your side. Uh, last night, I was able to add the newest iteration, which is going to become available, I think, today or tomorrow. The newest add-on for Arcadia 3 Plus, which is the PlayStation 3 add-on, with a ton of games. That, of course, you need something beefy to run, because PlayStation emulation is, yeah, it's very taxing. But, it's really cool, and hopefully tonight I'll be able to order my power supply so I can have my computer back to 100%, so I can start running the 4K stuff and all the good PC games and all that, without having to worry about the computer turning off on me which is what, exactly what's happening now. This dumbass... Okay. So yeah, um, I tried it out last night and it works beautifully. It adds a crap ton of PlayStation 3 games to the coin-ops Arcadia. So yeah, I think you're gonna like that. Hopefully I'll be able to install that and have the computer running. Maybe next week I'll have a video up on that. Where did I just go? Okay, there's a floor there. I need to check that. I'm not going to stay too long on this game because I still need to cover or play for quite a bit of uh, Order of Ecclesia, which is another one of my favorite portable versions. bag of money. Yeah. I started the stream a little later today. Because I was trying to figure out a way to do this since this is a DS and we have the dual screen, I wanted to do something to show you guys or have the stream show a full screen without having to, for you to see like two smaller screens or whatever. So what I did was I set it up in a way that you get the full screen view and just pressing the, the analog stick, you just switch between the two of them. So. If not, you would probably see either a smallish screen and then an even smaller one to see the bottom part. But I didn't want to go that route. Now, I missed something that I'm not going to be able to get for now. Let me see. Yeah, I need to move with the flying armor and go to where I'm supposed to go. Which is all a pain in the ass. Well, the thing is, uh, Paul, with PlayStation 3 emulation, of course, optimization is the biggest thing. You know, and they're fairly new emulators. But when it comes to PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, you need to have a good setup. I mean, you need to have a beefy CPU and a beefy G 
GP. It's probably it's probably not gonna be that way once you know a few years go by and they've optimized it for everything, you know. Like it happened with Dolphin. Dolphin was the same thing. Dolphin emulators in the beginning you need to have like some outstanding specs to run it, to be able to run it without, you know, without slowdown and stuff like that. And now, you know, it's even on mobile, so it's either you upgrade and you get to try it out as it is or just wait it out until it starts getting better. See what we got on this side. Okay, I came from this area, so I need to backtrack to that side. And there's something I need to activate to bring the drawbridge down, so. Let's go this way that I have down here. And here we go to the new area. I had already passed this part. But it's okay. Yes, a save point, which I needed before, but I wasn't able to do it, and I got killed before I even reached that point. Blood sword. Now, is this worth it? Let us see. The flying armor, I'm gonna need it. The one is all I got. So, claymore, blunt sword, and short sword is nine. it out just for the sake that it should be quicker oh yeah oh yeah i like that arc i also like that arc that's even better than the short one On, on Soma Cruz here, but hold on a second. Yeah, the thing, the thing with upgrades is that. GPU, changing the GPU can only gain you up to so much, meaning that you can upgrade a, a GPU today and maybe it'll, you know, depending on which one you get, because if you go from a, a very low-end one to a high-end one, you're maybe not going to be able to 
to enjoy all of the benefits because you're probably bottlenecked with the CPU. So the CPU and the, the rest of the components in the PC is going to kind of like drag you back or hold you back. So, you know, you have to understand that just by upgrading maybe one thing or two things, sometimes and for some occasions it's not enough. Sometimes you have to, you know, bite the bullet and either save money and go for something that you can upgrade all together and not have to worry about like in the next four or five years than just going one by one because like right now uh, from the seat from the GPU you go ahead and say you know what I should upgrade the CPU because mine is a little weak you have to consider the CPU that I'm getting do I need to get another motherboard do I need to get another you know different kind of RAM it's you know it's not really that difficult but it does you know it does take some planning and some considerations if you're on a budget of course because if money is not the limit then you know there's no problem you know just take the best and the most expensive stuff and that's it but when money is limited you need to carefully examine all of your options because yeah, not good. All right, so I'm making some progress here. Ugh. I wish one of these guys would give me their souls so I can have another weapon. Now, going back to Castlevania... This one, of course, is very beautiful. It's one of the few games that... And I am far away from the save once again. But this time around, I'm going to use uh, potions. Uh, poison. I hope that doesn't last very long because... I don't have a lot of potions. Have the weird old painting on the wall. Warp room. Alright, yes, I will use the warp because I want to go to the save and get my energy back. Spear! <coughs> and the mace that I got the first time around, but this time I didn't. Oh yeah, there we go. Doing some nice uh, progress. So we're back to where I left it basically in the first stream. Now I'm just hoping that Order of Ecclesia runs good because for whatever reason I did, like I mentioned in the beginning, I did start the stream a little later because I was trying to do the screen thing for you guys and also because I was trying to uh, adjust the settings because for some reason Order of Ecclesia was running a little sluggish, which shouldn't be a problem since, you know, I got the hardware, so it's not a hardware issue. And running DS is really not that bad. This runs 3DS and and Wii, Wii U and all that stuff really well. But I think it was more an issue of the type of driver, video driver. 
So I experimented with a few of them. And hopefully when I boot Order of Eclipse on a little while, it'll work better. It really doesn't affect much the video part of it, but the sound, it starts getting really ugly. No problem, bad luck. You made it. Perfect timing. I was talking here with Paul, Paul Phoenix, remember him? Uh, he's here uh, with us. And you just came back exactly where I left it the first time around that I didn't save. I had to go all the way back. And I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead. Wait, 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 wait a second. This time I will use a potion. I think I'm gonna have to change to the Claymore or to the yeah, I I need something more beefy to fight here. Holy shit, this is... Very... Okay. I had a cape here and I wasn't using it. Okay, got the scarf. And souls, I don't have a new one. Let me change it for the armor. I cannot go this way. So it's time to make my way. Gotta make my way back to. Where I was. And go further down the rabbit hole. The problem is that I'm running out of potions. works there. Oh, I ran out of magic. Damn it. This is not looking good. I'm running out of potions. Let me go downstairs then. Oh, great. have a mind one mind up and I don't want to use it because I don't know if I'm gonna get a boss or not okay stay right there don't move don't move that platform was avoiding that I get hit all right man if you can't stay I get it understandable thanks for dropping by anyways I'm gonna be switching to order in a little while anyways let me see yeah let's see if we can make it to what am I doing See how far we can go on this way and Frankie Frankenstein. God damn, that's a kick. Got no more potions. Yeah, my 
last potion. That's it. If I get killed and I don't find the safe spot, that's gonna be it for Dawn of Sorrow because I still wanna play Order of Ecclesia. Get out of there. Another Frankie. Great. Frankie has that punch that's a, a bit too much. Yep. Well, 4G is quicker, dude. <laughs> it is quicker. That's the way tech works. I'm glad you're not having lag as before because that's that's a that's a pain in the ass prototype don't be sad dude I'm going to the next one the next one is even better now this one is gonna be the last one for this week so you know volume two uh, volume three I'm sorry it's gonna end with order of Ecclesia now I did some tweaking you might hear something I'll let you guys know if there's something off, but you might tell by the sound. I had to do some tweaking with the drivers because there's some video drivers. This has some weird stuff going on with the, the sound, the sync of the sound. It's not uh, an issue of hardware. Loading game. But for Loading some reason, complete. this one is a little taxing and needs some tweaking in order to run well. But I think with what I did before going on live, I think it's going to be much better this time around. I might need to switch the screens though. I think... Yeah. Now before I, I went live, I was running this part and it was lagging a lot. And the sound was corrupting and all that stuff, so I had to tweak it a bit. It's not all games, it's just specific games depending on how they were coded. But I needed to, to show this off, of course, in case there's people who haven't played it yet. Really, really cool game. Character designs are amazing. Yeah, the switching of the screens is is something that I did so the the DS emulator. It's always going to emulate both screens, right? So you have a choice between doing, since this is uh, RetroArch that I'm using, using the Desmune Core. Usually cores are, are not as good as the original emulator because they put a lot more stuff into that. You have a lot more options. So being RetroArch, you need to basically do with what you have available and if you have uh, the aspect ratio is divided between two screens you have the only options are top and bottom side to side or hybrid which allows you to have one screen bigger than the other that's the one i used to use a long time ago you have the main screen on one side and a smaller screen you know and you switch between them but this this is much better amazingly enough since it's only one screen uh, at a time it uses less resources because you're only viewing one screen you go to the next one but you're still watching one screen so yeah it sounds and it looks much much better than how it was running with the uh, dual screen stuff so I'm gonna start a new game up And of course, the advantage of doing it this way also is that you get to see the whole screen. Like you're playing a regular 
you know, classic game or retro game. You don't have to see it in a smaller window. I'm going returning to life time and again since the ancient Middle Ages. Please. The evil Lord Dracula don't has stutter. driven people to terror. Each time Dracula returned from the dead, the Belmont clan fought him in the shadows, wielding the holy whip. Through their efforts, humanity avoided the darkness, securing prosperity. But early in the 19th century, having lost their ability to resist the darkness, those in positions of power at the time began to search for new ways to counter nice. Dracula. Our organization, Ecclesia, was born then as one of those countermeasures. Many organizations were well, established with the don't same Don't feel bad, goal. bad luck. And I finished it, day, and I don't remember a damn thing. So, you know, it's been... Dissolved. It's kind of been a while, dude. <laughs> it's been a results. long time. But that was when Barlow, the leader of Ecclesia, finally made a surprising break. But you know very well that Castlevanians were very Dracula. hard to come by, and any and every one that we would get, either on Game Boy Advance or on DS, we would try to pick up and play and just, you know, it's like a Zelda. You need to, like, devour it. Get to the last secret room or last weapon or last soul that you want, can collect. You just try and get it. Now this one just changes the mechanics. I know that much. Or I remember that much. Nothing? Okay. Let me leave it here then. I did not know. I did not know that they re released it on the 3DS, to be honest. If I would have known that, I probably would have gotten it there too. Just to replay it. Because on the 3DS, we didn't get any. Freaking Castlevania. The only Castlevania we got was that one that uh, Mercury something, Red Mercury or something like that, uh, made, which was like the 3D one. They're the same guys that made the new Metroid for the 3DS. And they're good guys. They're, they're good programmers and a very talented studio, but that Castlevania. Uh, is... No. 3D. It looked better than the other 3D Castlevanias up to that point, but man, it's it was missing that, that Castlevania feeling. Besides, it was the first one that wasn't done by the you know Japanese studio, by actually Konami, so it was it was weird. Nice, Aaron made it back. Good to have you back, buddy. Yeah, remember, guys, to pass the popcorn. Cause we got a we got a few guys in here today, and uh, we all need to eat. So pass the popcorn, pass the beer. Another cool thing about the setup is that with these types of controllers you get to actually play it with analog stick, which is a little different. I won't say it's better controlling as a D-pad, but it's an option. <sighs> I just want the butter beer, dude. The butter beer that's coming for Halloween. I can't wait for that shit. Okay, so she cannot do a thing for now. Just look ravishing and beautiful. She even strikes a pose, gathering her magical whatever magic. So yeah, I cannot go through here yet. This guy who she's talking to is a dick. And she needs to climb this 
up here. Shinoa, Shinoa, Shinoa. Now I'm, now I'm confused. Okay, this way. There you go. <laughs> Butterbeer, my friend, is the drink from Harry Potter. And the version that Afro Soul Nora is going to do for me for the last stream on Halloween is a variant of that Butterbeer. It contains, the original one contains butterscotch, cream soda, and some other stuff mixed into it to make it not so, you know, the, the original doesn't have alcohol. Um, but this one, of course, has cream soda, Jack Daniels, the butterscotch, the whipped cream, all that stuff is going to be very sweet and very snappy to make me play like a champ. And I cannot wait for that day already. Yeah. I cannot wait, dude. I want some of that. I, I'll probably try to get a, a, a huge-ass glass mug for that. Because if I'm going to go in, I'm going to go all in, dude. All in. I don't care. I'm going to be seeing freaking... Bats coming out of the screen and shit, and flying skeletons and, and eyeballs and shit. By the time I end the screen, the, the stream, that's for sure. I love this stuff. Noah is starting to get pissed. Oh, okay. Albus, Mr. Dick. Of course, he's a traitor. <clears throat> there shall be vengeance. Jealousy of the Prodigy. Oh, by the way, bad luck. I finished with uh, Nora last night watching the last three chapters of American Horror Story uh, Apocalypse, and it was it was it was good. It was good. I won't say it was great because at one point. They were going for like serious, believable, or trying to make it as believable as fantasy is. And at one point, they went fully retard and they went into this dumb and dumber kind of stereotypical bullshit stuff. That I was like, "Oh man, why did you do that? You would, you carried so much momentum and stuff, and then all of a sudden they dropped the ball doing some stupid jokes and some stupid." stereotypes uh, stuff but then it picked up in the end and by the last episode it was nice it was a good way to end and I was really happy I haven't been connected back with American Horror Story since a long long while all right let's get this jabbering moving cuz Awesome action here. Ooh, nice.
this. I gotta. I need to. Okay. I need to look at this because I start playing and talking and everything, and I forget the commands, and then I um, end up acting like an idiot because I can't figure out what I'm supposed to do. Okay. A lot more 3D effects on this game. That's probably why I had to tweak it a bit more than the other games because there's a lot of 3D polygonal uh, morphing and stuff like that. Much, much more effects than Portrait. Basically, she was all powerful and was like, she was the shit. And with that that happened right there, now it's back to square one, I guess. Kind of like Samus in every single Metroid game. Okay, yeah, that's the thing. There's. So I have, the difference now is that I have one for each hand. Now this is, I may be wrong, but this is more of a throwback Maybe honoring or, or doing something like like a throwback to Symphony of the Night that of course you could equip both hands. And there's the first one at least on the portable side that allows you to do that. So that's kind of cool. Power up, baby. Power up. Does she have a slide? Yes, she does. And a pretty badass one. Does she have a back dash? Oh yeah, she has a back roll. Even better. So, we keep moving forward. Can we move from here? I guess not. We're not going this way. Okay, you want me to attack you? No problem. Ah, here goes the tricky. First you tell me to prepare myself, and then you say hurry up. What the hell?
So basically she needs to recover all her mojo from that was stolen from Albus the dick guy in the beginning. Let's do this. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Now, do I have? Let me see what I got. Nothing, actually, no gear. What do I have? I got two potions at least. So we're good there. Got guides, I'm not gonna do that. Maps. Configure. Ooh, we can get surround. Suspend. Let's keep going. Now we are playing with power. Let's try this. Door number one. A save. Oh yeah. Not too much fanfare or anything. Just save and that's it. Just a little blip. Because they spent all of their graphical effects on warping polygon magic. So, yeah. No special save spot effects. They're expensive, I say. This is another aspect that's a throwback, in my opinion, to the old Castlevania style, where it's more level based. That's probably why a lot of people didn't like it. But I don't see what's what's the problem with that. A little bit of structure doesn't hurt. Plus you get to explore many maps instead of just one map. A lot of people like to bitch about stuff. effect this that looks insane that looks beautiful oh a warp spot but I don't have any spot to warp to so that's not very useful right now It is, man. It still is after all this time. And out of all the freaking games that people have to choose from to do remakes, nobody ever, you know, thought about doing this one as a HD remake. Could you imagine how it would look now? Anti-Venom.
left or right? Ah, uh, let's go left. Keep forgetting <clears throat> the back row button. Her powerful. Give me some power, baby. Now, <laughs> I got a grappling hook. Playing with the analog stick is, at least in this game, is very good. Oh, no, the freaking flying, flying horse heads, and I'm already hearing some, yeah, that's from the, from the horses, horses that meow like a freaking cat, that's, that's awesome, I love it. Can I kill the cat? I want to kill the cat. I know that makes me a bad person, but this is just a video game. How is it that you get up there? Probably not meant for me just yet, so... Shit, I'm low. Get out of there. 
Level up, thank you. Thank you very much. Time to switch up this setup, which is not very good right now. So let's do Oh my god. Yeah. I thought I thought I had more, but now this is it. So let's leave that one there. So this one also sucks, but at least it has a nice Hadouken. Rotten meat. Big surprise there. What are you doing, woman? again. The girl is getting pretty messed up. Give me an anti-horse relic or something. These are worse than the Medusas. I think this is taking the place of the Medusas because Medusa heads are annoying, but these freaking horses, oh my god. Ah, we had to go there. where we're at right now 241 you know what it's okay it doesn't really bother me because I was going to end the stream at around 3 because the point was I just wanted to bring to you guys how cool and special the DS versions of the game were and are still are they're beautiful but, as a bonus, I'm going to run something here. I haven't tested it yet, so I don't know for sure if it's going to work well or not. But this is a Castlevania kind of like fan game made with Unreal Engine. Some people have seen it. Others have not. If I can run it in full screen, mouse control here is not okay. Nope. Okay, let's see if I can. It doesn't run it in full screen, but it's okay because you, you guys will be able to see from there. I wanted to put this in as a bonus because. This, of course, is completely fan-made, and look how badass that lighting. This is done with Unreal Engine. I don't know what version, if it was done with 3 or 4, but just imagine the possibilities, guys. Just take a look at this and tell me that would not be something really awesome if we had a full game. Now true, the animation, you know, with the whip and stuff, it's not all there yet. But I mean, guys, look look at the freaking reflections on the floor. That light, and that, damn, he's pissed. That lighting. We got directional attacks. 
And of course, you got the special weapons. The only problem is that the direction of the character moves. If you press down, sometimes it moves. So it's a little finicky. But again, this is not meant to be... Yeah. This is not meant to be a final product because unfortunately for this guy, I'm very sorry that I don't have the name of the guy. I should have wrote that down before doing this, but unfortunately for this fan who created this, um, he worked on it until Konami gave him a cease and desist. So yeah, he had to stop everything. But it was finished enough for anybody to enjoy, even though he did have to remove the download link. Ah. least is done you know to give us an idea I love that they they leave the special weapons icon as the 8-bit version and you get the sounds from the original that's a nice touch now I'm trying to move into an another section because I want to show you guys how it looks in another setting Hopefully that's a better... No, and I have also, Paul, I have another version of Castlevania that I forget the name of it right now. It's fan-made. Fan that one is actually complete and actually came out with a sequel. I got both parts. Collision is still not there completely, but you have these. Look at those reflection maps on the floor. It looks fucking amazing. trying my best here because again with the whip animation and collision detection is not there yet it's not 100% of course this is just it wasn't meant to be perfect but I'm trying if these fucking zombies would let me get to where I want to and show you guys how nice it looks the lighting looks I might be able to do that let's see if I manage to make it to the next section here that looks even look at this and of course I hit everything in front of me instead of the freaking bat at least I got some chicken har 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 I got some chicken come on there you go Now we get the mermans. Merman, merman. Le Card Chronicles. Thank you, Paul. Because I'm really bad with names, man. I got both of them. They're, they're, they're really good. Whoa. That is some dangerous spit. Now look at that lighting. Really, really nice. Also, 
also running out of time. Mr. Bat. And I don't have a special weapon. And I'm almost dead also. Move! Look at that bat! <laughs> it looks like the one that, that Ozzy Osbourne bit his head off. Look at that freaking bat! Oh shit. Nah, I'm not gonna repeat all this, guys. I just wanted to show you what it could have been, you know. But that's the way it is. This is gonna be all for now, guys. I really appreciate you guys being here. You've been wonderful. I uh, love to have uh, you guys as a company for my stream. So all of you take care. Thank you very much for being here. And I will see you next time in the next edition of the Castlevania Marathon. See you guys. Take care.